we need to go get over to the man of the hour, meteorologist Jeff Ray, because all the pressure is on you, Jeff, tonight. We are needing to know the lowdown with Monday. Right. What's going to happen? About the cloud cover. By the way, and it'll be South Carolina. It's too much. <laughs> too many players. Too many players. South Carolina, too many players. They're just, okay, we'll see about that. Uh, okay. We'll see. Uh, weather alert out. Uh, it starts after the eclipse, Monday night and covers Tuesday. Tuesday's probably the worst of, of the day as far as severe weather. So we have weather alerts out starting Monday night and then going into Tuesday. And it looks like North Texas is dead center, that slight risk for Monday. Uh, we have that to deal with, but of course there's gonna be some cloud cover as well around for the clips. Now tonight, there's a little bit of thunderstorm activity. It is up along the Red River, but a thunderstorm complex really kind of getting going as it's crossing over by Windstar. And it's going to produce some lightning, sure, but it's leaving North Texas. There's a front still to come through overnight. It might kick up a shower or two, maybe a rumble of thunder, but it's gonna also clear the sky. So we wake up tomorrow in the upper 50s, even in the 40s out in Graham, low 50s along the Red River, but we will warm up with the sunshine, the very dry air. It's going to be low humidity, a little bit of a breeze. Great day in store for us Sunday. I wish I could say the same about Monday, but Monday we got a lot of cloud cover. This is the path of totality across the United States, at least. That's about uh, 2,300 miles. It takes about an hour and eight minutes for it to move across that path. So as far as cloud cover across Texas, all the way from where we're going to be in Eagle Pass, Fredericksburg, Ennis, Paris, we've got cloud cover in all these locations, and the question is if the low cloud cover will break apart enough during the afternoon to get a glimpse of the eclipse. Right now, that's that's what we're thinking, and then we get later into the day, into the evening, then we start talking about some possible severe weather around. So tomorrow, great. Monday will still be in the 80s and much cooler on Tuesday because Tuesday is going to be absolutely full of rain and strong thunderstorms. That's the path of totality, and notice from 7 up to 145 how much cloud cover is coming in but you see a little break here and there and it's not a complete cover of clouds we think but that's as we get into the evening this is overnight this is Tuesday there's going to be a lot of severe weather on Tuesday with two rounds coming in this is how the slight risk is on Monday and this is how the slight risk is on Tuesday with Tuesday being higher threat uh, as far as total rainfall, it could end up to be rather significant because we have rain in the forecast all the way until Wednesday night before it finally dries out. And we could end up in some areas over three inches of rain. So we not only have a severe weather threat with your typical players of, of hail, isolated tornadoes, damaging winds, but a flood threat will start to show up late Tuesday and into Wednesday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.